Okay, when you've got your video done and you're ready to submit it, you need to actually turn it into a video file. At this point, you've got everything the way you want it to look and you're ready to put it up on Schoology, but all you have is your Photoshop file. It'll say at the top the name of the file here, .psd. Right here, like it's always done in the past for everything else you've worked on. Um, and you want to actually turn this into a, a movie file, something that you could play on anything. You could play it on your cell phone, you could play it on your Chromebook, you could email it to a friend, you know, send it to your little cousin and say, here, learn the ABCs, except don't use your skirins because she uses the word demon in there. You know, whatever. So if you want to turn this into an actual video file, it, the process is actually relatively simple now that you've got it done. First, I recommend actually previewing your video and making sure that it all plays the way you want it to. Um, my video file is a little laggy because I have a lot of stuff and it's very big. If you notice up here, mine says 25%. That means I'm zoomed out 25%. If I actually show you mine full size, um, it's a huge file and it's very hard for me to actually play it here. So I'm not going to preview my whole thing within Photoshop because that would be hard to show you. Isn't it ginormous? Right, right? So if you want to play, just hit play and play it through just to make sure that it does what you expect it to do. Once you're happy with it, Come over here to this little button on the corner. I'll hover here for a second just so you can see where I am. The little three slashes here is all of the different settings for what you're doing. Lots of things to mess up in here. Lots of stuff to break. And that's fine if you break it. Chloe, I can fix it for you. But the, the one that you're looking for specifically when you want to turn this into an actual video that you can send to somebody is this render video button right here. We click the render video button and it opens up a new panel with all the different presets for rendering your video. There's not a lot that you have to change, but there's a lot that you can change depending on what you know about video files and what you want to create. The first thing is the name at the top here is going to automatically be the same name as what you've been giving your file all along, except that it'll put .mp4 at the end. That's fine. Don't change that. Additionally here, select folder. The default folder will be where you've been putting your file all along. If you've been choosing a good folder like your Photoshop folder in your Google Drive, you probably won't have to change this either. Now, below here, this middle section is where you want to make most of your changes. For what you're doing, keep it simple and keep it small. You probably want to choose a preset of one of these top three, high, medium, or low quality. The rest of these here, we really shouldn't have to, to choose from. There's lots of options. And if you know what these things mean, you're welcome to select through them for one that you think is good for what you're trying to do. However, if you don't know what you're doing, just pick medium quality. And then size. You notice how the size defaults to document size and look how big mine is, 4,000 by 2250. That's because my document's really, really big. I have a gigantic video because I wanted it to be super high resolution for what I was doing. If I hit render now, it's going to take about two hours to make my video because it's so big. I don't really want that, and you don't really want that either. You want yours to render quickly um, so you can be done with this project. So choose a size here under the size drop down as well, and pick one that's smaller than what we're, we're working with. And I recommend this 720p HD. 1080p is our standard uh, HDTV 1080p. These are our standard sizes for watching HDTV on a television set at home. And also, coincidentally, the same size as what your screens are in front of you. So this would be if you wanted it to look good on a regular old TV or computer screen. But we don't actually care about that. Your video is not intended for that purpose. You just have to submit it to me so I can see it. And if you want it to render faster, make it smaller. So I recommend going down a step here to this 720p. 720p is a slightly smaller resolution that will still look just fine and render a lot faster. So that's my recommendation. Choose that one. And everything else you should be able to leave alone and not mess with. So again, pick medium quality and pick this 720p size and hit render. 
I'm not going to do that because again, mine is so long and so big, it will take forever to render out. Yours should be a lot faster than that. You will click the render button. Oh, here, I'll click it. What the heck? And you're going to get a little pop up window exporting video. And your little green bar should go a lot faster than mine will. And then you'll get a video from your file when you're all done.